If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Are you looking for Rebel Clash codes? They are already available on Poton Store, as you can see, and you can use Tableman code for 5% off or for any purchase of all the other code cards they have. For the European players, Millipods Gaming has everything you need from collectibles to all the new Pokemon Sword and Shield cards and Rebel Clash is now in stock. Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back to another day of Road to Somewhere. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Really happy to have you over here. We are going to be taking a look at um, the ultimate Mewtwo deck that has um, that did well in the qualifier four. They get played at any of the invitationals, but I thought it was a super interesting deck um, played by the Russian player Ilya Kornikov. I did feature the deck not too long ago, but I felt like um, it's still a little bit um, unexplored, right? So I wanted to give it another run. I'll leave the link of the previous video down below so you can see an in-depth analysis of the list. And therefore, let's jump into a ladder and see what we can do. The other deck that we will be playing today is Turbo ZADP by Oliver, he played it at the Invitational and it's CADP with Acrobites and Order Paths in order to try and go Hyper Turbo. <laughs> Hello Alex, Ryan, Peter, thanks so much for being here. You got GMAX Cinerase in the video game and you love it, Peter, that's awesome. I haven't gone around to getting the Expansion Pass yet. I will probably do it at some point later today. So I'm thinking, Today I'm gonna I'm gonna split my time. I'm gonna be playing um, TCG for like two decks, and then I'm gonna be playing, um, and then I'm gonna be playing um, Mario Maker two later today. You know? Should be fun. You know? Should be a decently long stream today. Decently long stream. We're gonna be trying out the impossible um, shell jump. Though I thought I might start with some of like playing some of the popular courses. I think that would be fun to do as well. Okay, so we get power planted, which is not very nice, right? Not very nice, but my opponent decides to use the Coco. Decides to commit the Coco before like with the Electrify, which doesn't make much sense to me, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bench the Mewtwo. We're gonna lose these energies anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and research. I need a stadium and I would love, love, love the Marshadow Machamp. I get the Marshadow Machamp, however, I do not get the stadium. I will be able to find it next turn with the Kuzma Hall. I don't wanna reveal that I have it in hand. Pretty awkward situation, and I reserved. Thank you so much. Six months total, four months streak. Thank you so much. I am doing well. Thank you. How about you? You haven't been playing much Pixie Joes and Standard Stale. Yeah, I get it. Um, been playing Magic the Gathering Arena. That's awesome. That is awesome. How's that going? Is it hard to get into? I tried doing it. On, like I got through all the tutorials and stuff, but I was a little bit clueless as to how to continue forward after that. And my hair is really crazy. My hair is really, really crazy today. <laughs> Alright. So we are going to see a greens and a tackle. We are going to get hit. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is retreating this Mewtwo into this other one to use the Soul Burst GX. That's what I'm going to be doing here. That is what I will be doing over here. <clears throat> I 
Alright. So Marshadow Matchamp and Goods Mahala. This deck does play three chaotic swells, so I was hoping to find one last turn, but I did not. So I'm gonna go ahead and Goods Mahala, weigh this and the research. And then I'm not gonna grab any energy because I'd rather attach them. Right? Rather than attach them with the GX attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this energy. I'm gonna go ahead and retreat. And then I will go ahead and Soul Burst GX. So Martial Matchamp's Acme of Heroism is not important because. Um, or rather, like the three energy cost is not important, or the, the plus attack cost is not important because I don't even have. Um, I already used my GX, so I was just reading it. Not a big deal. A Pokemon Smile stream someday soon? <laughs> or that would be, that'd be cool, right? <laughs> that would be cool. Iron Circus suggests you finish all the color challenges and get more and more cards. Yeah, I, I finished all the color challenges. I'm pretty sure I did that um, like a few months ago, but it didn't fully captivate me. So I know you have to invest money, right? That's what you need to do. I know you have to invest money into it. Alright. Alright. Playscape Games, thank you so much for the host. Welcome everyone. How is your stream? Playscape, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the host. How are you doing today? Thank you so, so much for being here. Right, so we're getting both stormed here. So, Hever HS, thanks so much for the follow. Insomniac, all good. How about you? How are you doing? So, there's no point in attacking the Bolton. Right. There's no point in attacking the bolt end. I'm gonna go ahead and attach. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and did it change. And naming is, name is not important. Thanks so much for the follow as well. Will I play tourneys ever, Worm Town? I have been playing tournaments. I have been playing tournaments. Pretty crushed would have been nice against this guy. I have been playing tournaments. Alright. So I'm thinking, like, if we outrage, knock this guy out. If we outrage, knock that guy out. Just, I don't have stamp. I have one boss's orders, and I have one body. I really need it to boss orders this turn though. I need it back to back boss orders. Because then my opponent just needs a boss orders to beat me. So I definitely think this is correct. Now let's go for the knockouts. I'm not 100% sure. I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? Thank you so much to everyone who came over from the Playscape game stream. Normally average multiple finals and wins in Players Cup, but tonight was five second round losses and two first round losses. Oof, <laughs> that's unfortunate. So Warp Downy, I could do tournaments today. I could do a, a tournament today for sure. It's like Pokemon if you are free to play it takes a lot longer. Alright. A black vampire deck since it's pretty strong. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Nightbud continues to be to be silly. <laughs> Nightbot continues to be very silly. The breeze through my hair, right? It's, it's, the, it's not the breeze, it's the fan, because it's really warm here. 
It's really, really warm. Oh, well that's a problem. Well, is it though? It might not be actually. Okay, I get reset stamps. So as long as I don't get KO'd here, which he hasn't played a single Electro Power, I should be fine -ish. Actually, no, because of... Um, because of Tack Bolt. Decides not to pursue the Tack Bolt, however. Decides not to pursue the Tack Bolt. So I have a choice. Do I Marnie or do I Boss of Soldiers? This attack does 60 times. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have one energy left. I don't have a knockout on anything with this guy, so I think I need to Marty. I think I need to Marty to stop the like I definitely need to stop the tackles. That's the main thing I need to do. Stopping the tackles is the main thing I need to do. Alright, here we go. Here goes nothing. I do not have a rainbow energy for Mewtwo per game because it's priced, right? So, can we get an energy? Nope, my last price is my energy. I run 10. Actually, I don't have rainbow, but the, any energy, three, yeah, any energy would have allowed me to get a KO with Rocket Splash. Now, I don't think I can win anymore. Right? I don't think I can win. I am 10 damage short of the win. Outrage does 230, so 10 damage short. Blastoise does not enough. Uh, if I had Latios, maybe I could win. But yeah, my last prize being my last energy is the issue. Um, well, I guess the reason that means I probably would not have found the energy anyways, but... Uh, we get the switch, but I have no, I have no outs. I have no outs here. Pretty sure I have no outs. So it's like Monday stream. <laughs> I just, I can't quite win games. I'm always one price short, right? I'm one price short. I can't win games. <laughs> I just, I can't win games. I can't win games. There's nothing that saves me. Absolutely nothing. That guy's not enough. There's nothing that saves me here. Nope. There's no attack, right? 10 damage short. 10 damage short. 60 damage short. No six second either. GG, 10 damage away from winning. <laughs> 10 damage away from winning. Uh, my opponent got too fancy, I'm not gonna let him attack me. <laughs> oh well, next game. Next game. And we are playing a sub part deck, right? And even if I had found my energy of my prizes, I probably wouldn't have drawn it off of that, so. This shouldn't reveal like immediate information to my opponent on what we are playing, which is nice. Which is very nice. We'll see if that works out in our favor. We might be up against baby plants, which is a problem. Uh, what team is this? Hello, Romeo. This is 
Battle Hub Final Remix cover. I'll put the link right here for you. Yeah. And Max Supernick, great way to get yourself immediately banned. Immediately banned. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> uh, Romeo, I am playing Ultimate Mewtwo. No, I am playing Ultimate Mewtwo today. Okay, this is definitely Baby Clowns. So the Cryogonal is actually pretty cool. <laughs> the Cryogonal is actually pretty cool and will probably slow the game down quite a bit. Right? Probably. Not definitely, but probably. Alright. So with this hand, I should definitely power up Mew 3 and research, right? I could frozen lock, but I don't think I need to. Heatran, okay. So it might not be Mew 3, I mean baby bounce, it might actually simply be ability art. You just had a job interview and you got the job, that's awesome I research, congratulations. <laughs> that's really good. That's really really cool. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> All right, so simply he decided to retreat. So that must mean he has Welder in hand, right? That has to mean he has Welder, he's holding the Welder. However, we're gonna try and TX of course. Oof, oh, oh we, we do get it. We lose two energies in the process. So I'm not 100% sure it's worth it. Okay, it depends on... I've lost... Okay, I have 6 energies exactly. I think it's still worth it. That does mean Mew3 gets attacked and I might draw some energies. As long as I don't draw 2, right? I can draw 1. That's fair. That is actually quite fair. Alright, very nice. Soul Burst GX. Uh, why am I playing the poor version, <laughs> Romeo? Well, this is the poor version, you are correct. Um, this is my regular account. Yeah, I am, I am now streaming with the Tablemon account rather than the... Uh, <clears throat> rather than the demo Tablemon account because I needed to update this account anyways for the player stuff. So, I figured if I'm gonna be playing the latter, might as well get rewards for it, because the last four years of rewards that are stuck in the demo version, I cannot access. Uh, which definitely would have helped me a lot in updating this account. So, if I'm just gonna grind the ladder with like meta decks that I can build, I'm gonna do it with a regular Tailbone account. Or if I'm gonna play tournaments, I'm gonna do it with a regular Tailbone account. However, if I need to play like an obscure deck, which I don't have all the cards for, then uh, I'll use the demo account, and when new sets come out, I will use the demo account to be able to immediately um, showcase X, right? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. All right. So my opponent was holding the Heatran, there's Kremlin, uh, no stadium for you, my friend. So this is ability heart, not um, baby plant. And then we get Sticky Stump. So what attack do we use now to get a KO? We don't have our GX attack. I'll attach here. I'll attach here, I guess. And then I'm not happy about this, but I'm Marty. I need a better attack. And I mean that's that's what gets me a KO, right? That gets me KO. Outrage doesn't do it. This doesn't do it. Could have powered up for Mega Sable like Tyranitar, but that felt like an over extension. I'll go ahead and switch in case I want to use this guy. So I need to return four energies into my deck in order to get a KO on this is 10 damage short. This is 30 damage short. Hmm. I think I should go for the knockouts. I'll return the energy, yes, but I don't think it's that big of a deal because I am advancing my win condition quite a bit. 
So, I mean, Sunsteel Strike is also an option. But I'd rather return the energy than lose it. Oh, I can Flare Strike. What am I thinking? I can Flare Strike. There we go. Good thing I checked. <laughs> Good thing I checked. There we go. Good thing I checked. What is going on with a real life tournament? Are they online now, Romeo? I mean, well, because of COVID, right? Everything in real life is cancelled. Yeah, so there's nothing really going on um, online other than the the Players' Cup. Yeah. Other than the Players' Cup. However, um, so that means you have to grind on the events in the PT, on PTGO, right? And then if you're ranked top to 56 on the leaderboards, you are able to um, you are able to win uh, something. Like you get the pass to the next stage of the of the tournament, which is top 256 battled out in a double elimination tournament. And after that, um, I think I just. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Okay, I should thin, I guess. Um, next, the next stage is top to 56 of each region, battle it out, and then the the top 16, the top four players advance to the players' cup, was, which I guess you could consider the world championships now, right? I guess you could consider that the world championships, uh, which is a 16-player tournament to be held in August. Uh, it is getting some major backlash, for sure, uh, because, like, I mean, PTGO is definitely not the platform that you would want, right, for that. Um, that's the biggest issue. That is the biggest issue. Right. Canyon. So my brother will try to 2 hit KO me, which is understandable. The Giant Hearth does not help him. He's down two welders. So he really needs to get an attack of this turn, however. If he doesn't, then he's in a lot of trouble. And if I mal Lana the damage away, I should be pretty pretty okay. Should be pretty, pretty okay. Okay, but my opponent was not able to, so I'm just gonna do that. And then... I don't have bosses orders in my discard pile, so I could try to dig for it. Could try to dig for it. There's seven energies. Do I really think my opponent will get to 16 energies in the discard pile? I mean, I feel like getting boss disorders is just as healing next turn. It's just as good as healing. So yeah, let's do it. Please don't be bottom three boss disorders. You are not. Thank you. And then I'll eliminate the one threat my opponent has. And we will go for a massive bloom for enough damage, 170, 10 less because of my damage. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm thinking this should be game over. I don't see how my opponent could win this. Alright, quick ball. What will that find? What will that find for my opponents?
So I wish... The dog wall. Was that guy? No, that guy doesn't survive. That guy doesn't survive the attack from Blastoise. I deal exactly 240 minus 30 to 10, so... I would have been fine. My last prize is my last boss disorders, however. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh! Oh, I have this witch right here. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. My opponent thinks that this will save him, but it does not. Because I have four, five, four water energy, so Rocket Splash, four energies, 210 exactly, GG. So, not sure what the Angry Face was for. My last one sorry, was my price card. However, it generally did not matter. All right. Perfect. 688 points. Let's play one more match with this deck. You have two trainer kits on pre-order, those of Danny look super cute. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Peter. I already have my Dedenes, otherwise I would have gotten the kits as well. Alright. So, we don't know what we're up against, so I'll start the Reshi just because it can outrage. Uh, we're up against Spirit Tomb. Alright. So I definitely think against Spirit Tomb the plan will be ADP. And I should use the actual ADP. Right. Uh, is that good actually? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, against Spirit Tomb the plan will definitely be ADP. And Valplum and this guy. Especially this guy. So I'm gonna grab that guy. I'm gonna attach. I'm gonna go ahead and. You know what? I'm gonna pinch this guy. I'm gonna attach there. I'm gonna switch into it. And I don't remove energy. I was very. Uh, wait. Oh, it's any energy. I thought it was fairy energy. Alright. Looking good. Looking good so far. Right? Looking good. We can have the Cernias, maybe Tanka hits, and then ADP GXs, and then we can start KOing with Spirit Tomb for two prizes. I mean, we can start KOing everything in Spirit Tomb for two prizes. Uh, Scoop of Met, not the biggest of deals. Right? Not the biggest of deals. Another scoop of meds, nice. So I'm assuming there's a research coming. Skateboard, ooh. Evil Tall GX could be a problem. Evil Tall GX could actually delay my GX attack by one turn. It generally might delay my attack by one turn. Only in real life. Oh, there you go, Peter, yeah. Yeah, and online they're very expensive, right? Ooh. Wow, turn one triple scoop of meth plus the raw six cyclone. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Even more reason to attach to the ministry here. Jeez. What a turn by my opponent. So I'll do this. Discarding this. And I'll research. I don't intend to use any attack this turn. I could, however, use Jirachi's Star Search. No, I'll wait a turn. I'm gonna wait a turn. Dragonel could also be pretty good here. Next turn I GX. Don't have the raw bosses orders. Oh, thank you. Don't draw a great catcher, please. Okay, it's gonna be tough. 
tough to win this one, but it's doable, right? Definitely doable. 160 minus 20, okay, so gets the knockouts. That opens up at the 10 KO. So I'm fairly sure now I GX with Mew3 now. Yeah, I GX with Mew3. I'll bench this guy and then I'll research. How did I not get a single freaking energy? <laughs> When there's seven left in my 21 card deck. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Alright. Thank you, Energies. Thank you so much for deciding to show up. Um, Tackle. And now, finally, Alter Creation. So I'm gonna get hit by a lot. Right? Can I hit hit by a lot, but as long as I don't die, I'm good. This is a tough spot to be in though. This is a tough spot to be in. Taking away damage from the spirit gem. Nice. Scoop up max the active. Wait, what? Cloud sorters, understandable. <laughs> yeah, we're in a lot of trouble here. So my opponent is now one boss or is away basically from winning the game because of these Tetenes. I do have knockout with ADP's attack. I definitely don't want damage on me. The energies are not that impactful anymore. I'll go ahead and Marty. And alright. I don't want to hyper fang. <laughs> I don't want to do any of this. I want to do ultimate raid. Okay, so my plan next turn is to go quick ball away for a Mew 3, retreat, and then use Chalk away. Right, that's the plan. Hey, Jump 22 Films. What's the play for Pokex JP Wizard? Probably not this deck. <laughs> I'm thinking Combo Station or Dragapult. Those are probably my top two favorite decks. Those are probably my top two favorite decks right now. Okay, hustle build on skateboard. It's gonna come down to bosses orders, right? Boss orders this turn or bosses orders next turn. It literally comes down to that. And there's a research, so that's bad news. That is bad news. They are the best decks, yeah. Certainly seems like it. The Dene, we wish that the Dene was on the bench. The triple turn one, um, the triple turn one uh, scoop up nets when my opponent had over 40 cards left in the deck. Like, what do you do against that? You know, what do you do against that? And now it just got reset stamped. Um, find the foul bloom, not the greatest. I'm, I just, I need a Mew3. When I need is a Mew3, uh, Malalana would have been good as well. But it still comes down, to, comes down to bosses orders for my opponents, which he only played one of. He might be holding it in hand. Right, I might just be holding in hand. So, uh, you know what? I have knockout with Kyogono. I should not attach that tool. I should not have attached that tool. I do find the switch, however. So, if my opponent has boss orders, he wins anyways. No matter what I do. So, frozen lock. No items. Probably won't be helpful either. Oh, wait, what? No items actually means he can't play the tool. Ah, uh, still low. Energy plus... Like, a rainbow energy is 130. Yeah, never mind. It's still... It's boss orders energy. It's boss orders energy for my opponent. Nothing we could do about that. Are you playing JP Wizard on the Pokex tournament? 
Are you playing? Alright, steady change. Looking for that boss's orders. Has steady change into Stella Wish. Doesn't immediately grab it. Right? Doesn't immediately grab it. Doesn't immediately slam down the win. Which is good news. So we might have just won. We might have just won right here. Marnie. That's okay. Nothing survives this. Maybe there's a great catcher being played. I think that's it. Triagonal too strong. I mean, I don't think Triagonal mattered actually. Like, what mattered was not KOing with this guy. So I would have found a Mew 3 with my other hand if I hadn't had Triagonal or the energy, and I would have been able to attack with Mew 3. So by using the free attack of Choke Away of Radical GX. So that would have been fine, right? That definitely would have been fine. Oh, the black market. Oh my god. Okay, we have bosses orders, it's fine. We have bosses orders. Oof, that could have been really bad. That could have been really, really bad. Eldegoss for boss, boss for this guy. And we go outrage for a lot of damage. Nice, nice. Hello, Mineral. Thanks so much for being here and how you're doing. Alrighty, very nice, very nice. Alright, so Ultimate Mew 3, it has potential, it's a pretty fun deck to play, that's for sure. Um, I definitely feel like the lack of great uh, big amulet or great charms is noticeable, and that's something that I would add for the future, and I think that would be worth adding. Um, but yeah, Ultimate Mew 3, I'm going to be moving now to Turbo Station ADP, so don't go anywhere, I'll be right back in just a second.